I have this felt crab cutout. It came from the Dollar Tree and a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to trace my crab on top of the cardboard. Now you want to make sure your cardboard isn't too flimsy. But I just want something that's going to be a little more sturdy than the felt itself. Once I have it traced out, I'm then going to take a razor blade and cut the crab out. Now you do not have to make every point and edge perfect. You actually do want to go even a little shorter than the traced lines because we are going to be applying the felt back on top of the cardboard. The razor blade cuts this really nicely. You can also use a pair of scissors. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm then going to take some E6000. This is a nice industrial strength glue. It's going to do a nice job holding this. But then the hot glue is also good for that instant hold. And then I'm going to lay my crab on top of the cardboard. I have this mirror, it came from Dollar General, and I'm going to remove the jute hanger from the back side. And they have these little picture hangers that I'm also going to unscrew. And I'm going to set all that aside for a later project. On top of my crab, I'm going to take my hot glue. And I was just running low and didn't have an extra glue stick handy, so I'm just pushing my hot glue through my glue gun. And then I'm taking some E6000, again, for that industrial strength hold. And I'm going to place the mirror on top of the body of the crab. Now, this can be any mirror. This was about nine and a half inches in diameter. It just so happened to work out that it had these little round wood beads going around the frame of the mirror. And I'm going to paint two of them with some Wise Owl black paint. And these are going to be the eyes of my crab. Now, if you have a mirror that does not have the wood beads going around, you can place your own. Or you can even just take two half wood beads for the eyes. I'm going to allow that to fully dry. And then I decided to take a little bit of the Wise Owl Republic red paint. And I'm going to just dry brush it over the mirror. Now you can go as heavy or as light on this as you would like. I just want a small amount, so I'm going on the lighter side. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take a new piece of jute and my stapler. And I'm going to staple the jute down and this is going to be my new hanger. Now you can certainly leave it just as is and be done or to finish it off I found these rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree. There's a part of the transfer that says feeling good and I decided to place it in the bottom right portion of my mirror. And since this is a nice slick surface the transfer rubs on really nicely. And you just lay it down and you take a popsicle stick and rub on top of it. And I really like how this came out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.